guys good morning welcome back to another vlog i wanted to pick up the camera today because i am going to treat myself today okay so i just wanted to take you guys along with me i actually got this video idea from a fellow youtuber her name is maya Gal excuse you <laughs> charlie does not like wearing his collar around the house but i'm trying to get him in the habit of wearing it so he know because charlie y'all charlie really be doing the most like he be thinking that he is a human and he is not human so i put that collar on his little butt to remind him that sir you are a dog okay so you need to act accordingly so he just scratches at his little collar because he doesn't like it but anyway um yeah i found this i got this idea from a fellow youtuber maya galore i've been seeing her post a lot of solo date vlogs and i love them so i will have her channel linked down below you guys should definitely check out her content she vlogs her life she does the solo date vlogs she also just gives advice on how to level up yourself whether it's through your fashion leveling up your mentality and the way that you think about yourself and the way that you treat yourself so i would highly recommend that you guys check her out so i got up and made my coffee i'm about to make my bed and then i'm going to get ready and go out on a date i'm going to my favorite restaurant which is redlands grill i love that restaurant that's not like my all-time favorite but it's one of my favorite spots to frequent so i'm gonna go there today get me a little dinner and then um come back and relax and we'll see where the evening takes us i'm gonna go ahead and make my bed this video is sponsored by brooklinen so thank you so much to brooklinen for sponsoring today's video y'all they sent over a cute little package of some new sheets for your girls. So I'm super excited to try them out. So let me open it and we'll get into what's inside. Okay, so they put a little brick linen tote. This is so cute. If you know me, you know I love, I live for a good crisp white bedding set. Y'all, that is my jam. It looks so crisp, clean, and put together. So I love white bedding. So I ordered the Lux hardcore bundle so it comes with your pillowcases your core sheet set and it also comes with a duvet cover as well and that's perfect because i do have my comforter that i can put inside this so that is perfect so i'm going to go ahead and unpackage all of this let me feel let me see how it feels let's see how it feels oh love the packaging too Ooh, feels so soft. Oh, feels so good. Yes, you guys. Look at that. You can you can tell through the camera that this is quality. So the thing about Brooklyn and that I love is that they have a luxury grade linens without the luxury markups. So it's giving very much hotel quality. Okay, so let me put these on my bed and I'll come back and show y'all what it's looking like. how this duvet cover has buttons at the top duvet covers i've used in the past have strings and it gets really complicated and you forget which way to put the comforter in so i'm loving that instead of the ties this has buttons which makes it so much easier to put your comforter inside and i feel like it makes the washing process easier and the reapplication of the duvet cover easier as well because if y'all have ever had duvet covers y'all know it can be a struggle having to put your comforter back inside of it each time you wash it the way i put my duvet cover on i grab one end of the comforter put it in at the corner of the duvet cover and then i grab the other end and make sure that it's in the same place and you just shake the rest of the comforter down into the duvet cover
plush and the sheets feel so soft so i cannot wait to get back into bed tonight because your girl's finna be knocked out i already know so the set that i got is the luxe hardcore bundle comes with your core sheet set which has your one fitted sheet one flat sheet and two pillowcases and then like i showed you guys they also sent over two additional pillowcases and the duvet cover all of that together makes the Lux hardcore bundle it starts at 240 dollars but that is very inexpensive compared to other luxury sheet brands and i love brooklyn and because they believe in creating simple and beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup and they do that by eliminating the middleman so you guys are getting the best price and I love it. This will make a perfect gift this upcoming Valentine's Day or just in general y'all because when I was putting these on my bed I was like this will make a really good gift to send to my grandma because with my grandma she's one of those grandmas that has everything so it's like what do you get someone who has everything but I bet you she don't have Brooklinen's luxury sheets. I don't think she has these so this will make a really good gift for her friends for those of y'all that have a man you can surprise your mans with a nice new fresh bed linen set honey okay and then also for us single girls treat yourself to some nice sheets because these feel really really nice so thank you so much to brick linen again for sending these over to me they are offering you guys a special discount of twenty dollars off any order over a hundred dollars just click the link down in the description box and use my code hannah o at checkout just spent a couple hours doing some cleaning around the house and i'm about to get ready can't find what I need, can't find what I need. And I'm about to get ready to head out the house. Like I told you guys, I'm going to take myself out on a little date, going out to eat. I'm gonna go to Redlands Grill. The one that I frequent is the one in Peachtree Corners, like in the Norcross area. Y'all, the food is so good. It's like, <laughs> it's not like Applebee's vibes, but it's just like that, like all American, like, basic food but the food is really fresh and it's good so yeah i would definitely check them out if you guys are in georgia and then later on i'll come back home and do a little cocktail situation and just wind down the evening and relax so i wanted to take you guys along with me um and i guess while i'm talking about like dating i guess i'll give you all an update i still have not gotten back on online dating i don't know how i'm feeling about it these days but yeah still not back on online dating there were i get y'all i need to start posting on instagram more often because people were coming out of the woodworks that i haven't talked to in forever like guys that i used to talk to in the past popping out of the woodworks because y'all know if y'all follow me on instagram i post on stories here and there and i'm going to try to do better that's one of my goals for this year because i feel like that's a part of branding um but as far as posting on my instagram page i haven't posted in forever i think before the post that i put up recently the last post i put up was like almost a year ago so i've been on a little like instagram hiatus if you will so tell me why when i posted that like hair picture with my hair looking cute and i was sitting down here in my office like i had like two or three guys dming me that i talked to in the past dming me like oh what's up what's up da, 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 what's up and i'm like sir like i've been here i don't know where you've been but <laughs> like are you telling me all i need to do is post on instagram to have people check in on me is that what you're saying but it didn't go anywhere y'all like the one guy i used to talk to him i met him like a long long time ago when i was still working at airport shuttle bus and he was a or he still is a airport um like an airport plane mechanic and so we used to talk all the time and we went out on um a date and it was like it was really cute and romantic but it just never went anywhere it wasn't for any particular reason it just never went anywhere sorry y'all i had to finish my eyebrows but yeah so um now i lied no he did message me before i posted that picture but he was he was trying to get me to spend time with him over new year's and like i told y'all i haven't really talked to him like that in a minute so when he asked me i was like okay so we were having a little short conversation he was like yeah so just hit me up if you want to do something for new year's and in my mind i'm like okay like <laughs> are you going to ask me 
to do something for New Year's because y'all, this is just how I am. Cause I know some of y'all were coming at me in the last video I posted like, Hannah, like go back to the tire shop and get sir's number. There's nothing wrong with being not, it's not aggressive. What's the term? Assertive. I think that's a better word. Being assertive when it comes to asking if a guy wants to take you out or asking if he wants to exchange numbers with you. There is nothing wrong with that. But my personality, like not that I like being chased, but I just feel like if you really want to spend time with me, if you really want me as much as you say that you want me, you will put the effort behind it to get the outcome that you want you know what i'm saying like that's how it is for me like it's not that i'm like oh well you need to ask me out like you need to you know like bend over backwards to show me that you want me like it's not like that it's just i feel like you know if you want something like okay ask me for my number like ask me out to a specific place at a specific time you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if you can say everything else, you can say that too. So that's my whole stance on it. So when he said that in my mind, I'm like, well, I'm not going to hit you up asking you if you want to do something for New Year's for you to like play around and not schedule a serious date and time to do something for New Year's. So I was like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> like if you, you know, New Year's is coming up. So if you want to spend time together, you can ask me out to a specific date or place. So that was that. So long story short nothing came of that because he didn't hit me up so fast forward to when i posted the picture here he goes in my dm again we were talking he's like you don't talk to me anymore we're not friends and i'm like what do you like what are you wanting <laughs> like what are you wanting so i went to his page because i hadn't looked at his page in a while and i saw that in one of his recent pictures it, he was holding like a small baby in his hand i was like oh i wonder if that's his child i was like is that your kid that you posted and he was like yes and i was like oh, okay and this again is my personal preference i personally um don't want to date a man that has kids under two because i feel like it's still too fresh and it's a lot of responsibility for someone who doesn't have kids now if i had kids I wouldn't care, but since I don't have kids, I prefer not to date a man that has kids under two because I feel like they're so young. You know, they're still babies and I don't know what your relationship is with the mother and it's just a lot going on, I feel like, in that stage. So I just respectfully told him, I was like, you know, she's adorable. So glad that, you know, you're happy and da da da, all that kind of stuff. And I was like, but I don't, I prefer not to date people who have kids under a certain age. And I was like, I'm sorry, but you know, this can't go any further in that direction. And he didn't say anything back to that, which I figured he wouldn't. So yeah, that was that. And then <laughs> this other guy, I used to talk to, um, same thing, just popping in, checking in, seeing what's going on. And I'm like, once again, if y'all are serious about trying to see what's good with me, like plan a date, plan a date. So anyway, y'all, that's um all that's been popping on with, I guess, my dating life. My ex did pop back in the picture for a second, not pop back in the picture because it didn't go that far, but um, it was probably like maybe a week and a half or so after I posted that life update video, he had messaged me um and mind you i blocked him on instagram he's like why'd you block me on instagram i don't understand like you broke up with me so why did you block me and I, in my mind i'm like because i can but <laughs> so he messaged me um we messaged each other on the phone and we were just talking and he was saying how you know he would be willing to change and all this kind of stuff so i was talking to my sister about it and my brother-in-law was in the area and my brother-in-law was like hannah like nope like don't give him a second chance like you know he showed you who he was and if he really you know cared about you he wouldn't have let you go to begin with and i was like yeah yeah you right you right and then just on top of that the timing for me was weird because i'm like bruh like i told y'all I, I don't know if I told y'all this, but I like gifts. Like that's one of the ways that I show love for others and I receive love from others. So I feel like the fact that you allowed the breakup to happen like right before Christmas was very convenient timing for you because you didn't have to get me nothing for Christmas. And it was just, I don't know, the timing was very weird. And then the fact that you tried to come back like right after Christmas was over I'm like, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. Okay. So <laughs> it was just very weird timing. And I was talking, like I said, to my sister and my brother-in-law about it. And I just decided to take their advice because with him, I was open to possibly getting back together. 
but it would have been a situation where you would have had to make some change and for one there wasn't enough time that went by for him to make those changes and for two the way that he was coming at me it was like very much giving the same old thing and I wasn't here for it so I just decided to take my um family's advice and just leave it alone just leave it where it is and move on about my business because I broke up with him for a reason so yeah y'all that's that on that so yeah y'all nothing has been going on in the dating realm your girl's just out here trying to live her life honey trying to live her life but in the meantime like I told y'all I'm going to enjoy myself I am going to um really work on improving myself um you know I still do have feelings time to time where I feel like you know my clock is like running out of time and you know I gotta hurry up and you know secure a man and da 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 but I have to remember like Hannah like it's not your timing it's not your timing it's God's timing like calm down <laughs> calm down because for all I know six months from now I could be married you know what I'm saying I don't know so I just have to remember to calm down you know go with the flow um continue to uh, work on myself, improve myself, and put my best foot forward and put myself out there. And I'm going to continue going on solo dates because that's something that I used to do all the time and I enjoy doing it. So that's what I'm about to do today. I'm just putting some clothes on, putting a cute outfit, taking myself out to eat. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Like I said earlier today, I was doing some cleaning and then i was doing some work as well for the website trying to get that up and running some other things that i needed to work on so yeah just getting things done i noticed that i'm my best self when i'm being productive and um that makes me feel good about myself so that is what we are doing Woo! okay Put my outfit on, y'all. Your girl, your girl looking kind of spicy. This is the top that I got from the On You. And I just paired it with my black skinny jeans and my belt. So I'm about to pop some fresh curls just in the front. Um, y'all have seen me do this before. I love the way that the waves, it's not even like a crimping iron. It's like a, like a pretty wave. And then with the hair too, the good quality hair, y'all. So I'm just gonna pop some fresh waves into this hair really quick. I have the, um, the curling iron that I use, this one linked in my Amazon store. And it's like $25, $25, $30. And it's a really nice waving, I wouldn't say crimping, crimping iron, but a really nice waving iron. So um, it'll be linked down in my Amazon shop if y'all are interested. So I just, Hold it for a few minutes here, then move it down, hold it for a couple minutes there. Yeah, your girl's looking real spicy. This top is so freaking cute. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to wear the white one. Maybe I'll wear the white one with like some denim, blue jean denim, that'll look cute. So yeah, curl it at the bottom. And then I just take my holding spray from Sebastian and it's the Sebastian Shaper Plus. And it's also linked in my Amazon shop. And I just spray that little section. And I like this stuff because it doesn't give you a crunchy hold. It gives you a nice hold with a soft hold. So yeah, I appreciate that. So yeah, y'all, let me finish crimping my hair and I will show y'all the final look. y'all so here is the outfit of the day i just got to put my shoes on y'all i'm sorry my mirror is so dusty i have to wipe that down but um i showed y'all the top from dion you 
the belt is from i believe boohoo and then i have my pants on from uh these are from boohoo too so this is an all black on black look and i'm gonna put my little combat boots on with it so yeah that is what we are doing for the outfit of the day and i'm about to head out and go out to eat literally sitting in the corner of my sectional just chilling y'all i'm straight up chilling i took my lashes off put my little comfy set on and your girl is vibing out on the couch just looking around my apartment <laughs> just sitting here relaxing like this is me living my best life okay i just need to sit down and relax so i'm about to get up in a minute and fix my little cocktail recipe i was scrolling on pinterest and i saw this cute little recipe that i'm gonna try out tonight because honey i'm not paying 10 15 dollars for a cocktail at a restaurant okay i'm just gonna come back home drive get home safely okay and make the cocktail at home myself so that's what i'm about to do the food at redlands grill was really good i got the i got something different this time actually i got the rattlesnake pasta that was really good it was like a sliced thinly sliced chicken with the sauce the pasta bell peppers it was really good so i would recommend that as well and then i had to order a side of their macaroni and cheese it's so good they have like a crust on top that they put on it super super good so i would highly recommend and then i did get me a little slice of cake as well a fudge cake with some ice cream y'all that cake was so good so good so i would definitely check out retland's grill if y'all are looking for like a nice all-american dinner that's fresh and flavorful i would highly recommend that y'all check them out definitely take yourself out on a date honey go out to dinner go to the movies by yourself do things that you genuinely enjoy there's nothing wrong with doing it by yourself i know it can be a little daunting at times but for me when i go out to eat I don't sit at the bar. I normally just get a regular like booth or a table because for me, I feel like if you are going, um, this is my opinion. If you are going to a restaurant and you sit at the bar by yourself, I feel like because the bars are typically in a place where most people in the restaurant can see you at the bar. I feel like a lot of people do that if they're trying to mingle or you know what i'm saying like they're trying to um like i guess make themselves known so i feel like if you are trying to that's a good idea if you're trying to put yourself out there on the dating market because that is something that will help you with your dating game i've been out to restaurants multiple times and i've seen women sitting at the bar by themselves and men come up and approach them and have conversations or the bartender himself is having a conversation so i would definitely practice that if you guys are trying to put yourselves out there but you don't really know how that's a really good way to do that but for me like most times i'm just going to the restaurant just to chill and get some good food by myself so in that case i just get a table or a booth and i'm just doing my thing if you want to bring a good book with you or bring your laptop and do some work you can do that too so definitely like don't feel intimidated by it i know it can be a little daunting especially if you're going to a place that's crowded but just go in and enjoy the ambiance enjoy the food people watch so i would definitely recommend that y'all try out at least once and see how you like it but yeah y'all let me go ahead and get up and make this cocktail all right y'all i'm gonna make me a little cocktail so i just crushed up some ice y'all i'm so extra just crushed up some ice i'm gonna put that in there like that and then the recipe is just tequila pineapple juice and lime juice so let me go ahead and cut to open my lime and i'm gonna squeeze that in there i love lime juice so i'm gonna put Probably the whole thing in there. Mm. And I'll put this little piece on here on the side for garnish. Y'all know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll put the rest of the lime juice in there. Okay, and then I'm going to do my pineapple juice. And a little splash of tequila, honey. And this drink is called Matador. 
I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna put more pineapple juice in there. And here's my little cocktail for the evening. Cheers. Okay, y'all, let's try this out. This is my first cocktail I've made at home. So, well, no, I'm lying because I made that strawberry drink. It's like the fresh strawberries with the barefoot rosé and the, um, what is it called? Simply Strawberry. That's a good little cocktail too, but this is like my first official cocktail. So let me taste it. Ooh, ooh, honey, that tequila hitting. Ooh, it's good though, it's really good. I think next time, because I didn't have my cute ice cubes, so next time I'll put my cute square ice cubes in there because the crushed ice is doing the most, but I really like it. It's good, it's like a nice refreshing, Yeah, it's like a nice refreshing i feel like this is more of a summer cocktail but it's really good simple ingredients i don't think you can go wrong with this so yeah you guys cheers to self-care cheers to ourselves treat yourself okay so i'm gonna go ahead and sip on this watch me a little bit of tv before i wind it down and enjoy the rest of my evening. all right you guys i'm about to wind it down get my butt in the shower take off this makeup and get my butt in the bed and enjoy my bedding from brooklyn and y'all i already know i'm going to sleep good tonight okay so thank you so much again to brooklyn for sponsoring this video sending over this bedding don't forget to check my description box link down below and get 20 dollars off your order of 100 or more so definitely check them out y'all i highly recommend don't forget to like the video comment and i will see you guys in the next video